to my channel. Um, I just wanted to do a quick changing video um, and talk to you guys a little bit. I, I have a lot going on right now, so please keep me in your prayers. I would really appreciate it. I'm just trying to get this set up right okay anyways <clears throat> a lot going on um <clears throat> i don't know if all of you knew i tried to say something on my live video that i did um i'm no longer with the ministry i stepped away just because i wanted to do my Fridays like I used to do and do things on my own um, it wasn't anything personal it was just a decision that I wanted to do so I will be doing my Fridays though if you want to join I'll be doing some some studies on certain things in the Bible um, I will be doing discussions about what it is that I'm doing as well um, <clears throat> but yeah so anyways I've got my Hannah here and we're gonna we're gonna do a changing of her um, it's not really getting cold here but I still I want to start getting them in fall clothes just because so, um, Hannah is my Huxley, and I'm going to get her changed into, like I said, something a little bit more fall, not, not too warm, not like too warm for this time of year, but something more appropriate. So, I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I actually might change one other baby, too. Um, okay. I wanted to ask a question. <clears throat> Just a general question. I mean, you, you guys can leave your comments in the comment section. But it's just something that is weighing on my mind because it's something that recently happened to me. And I'm not trying to boohoo and I'm not trying to play pity party. I just want to see what people's opinions are other than my own. Um, so you know how everyone has that best friend, somebody that they confide in with everything? You can talk to about anything, you know what I mean? That you know you can trust, that will keep confidentiality between the two of you. I think everyone knows. Everyone has or had a friend like that. But what happens or what is your opinion if that friend decides they don't want to keep that confidentiality anymore and they want to turn around and spill the beans? I mean, what's, what's your opinion of that? I mean, I'm, I'm, I am a Christian. I do not hold hatred in my heart towards anyone <clears throat> but would that affect your trust in someone as far as being able to trust them again as your friend or would it take time I just wanted to ask that like I said it's not not uh anything that's important that you know you're obligated to answer but 
I just wanted to see what other people's opinions were. It can be very hurtful when someone turns on you, though. I know that. Um, see, this is why when it comes to friendship, for the most part, um, my Father God is my best friend. Because he always listens. He doesn't judge me. He doesn't look for faults in me. He doesn't, you know what I mean? He's, he's there. He loves me. And that's what matters to me. But it's really hard. I mean, like I said, I'm a Christian and I'm not going to, I'm not going to hold anger and hold grudges. It's just, uh, it can be very hurtful when somebody does something to you that isn't nice. But anyway, <clears throat> I wanted to get on here and do a video because I figured it would make me feel better and give me something to do. So here I am making the video. I used to have two of these outfits, but I actually got rid of the one because it went home with my one twin, my silicone. So this is the other one that I have left. I had two of them matching outfits. I got them, I got them a lot of different matching outfits that were really cute. But, um, like I said, when I got rid of um, Rachel, the one twin, I sent her new mommy all of the clothes that I had gotten for her, and I kept the ones for Rebecca, so this one was actually Rebecca's outfit, but we are putting it on Hannah because I thought she would look cute in it. She's just the right size for it, too. So, I hope everyone is having a blessed day. I've had a stressed day, <laughs> but I'm trying to de-stress is what I'm trying to do, which is why I'm doing this right now. <clears throat> I need to de-stress. I need to relax, try to calm down so that I can sleep. Yeah, stress and anxiety don't mix very well. And depression, they just, they just don't. So I have, I bought, I got something today for the babies. Uh, when I was at Dollar Tree, I'll show it to you after I'm done. It's actually really cute. It's going to be for, uh, role play with the toddlers, which I really, really, I'm looking forward to getting back into because that was fun. I haven't done it in a long time, but I'm going to get back into it. Um, I still have a toddler that I have to paint and finish, which that looks really cute. <clears throat> I like this on her. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't know if you guys noticed, I did cut her hair, and I did put her little pig, piggy tails in. Um, I thought that looked really cute on her. So, that's her new outfit, and I think she looks adorable. And this is her, her little lamb. So, let's see. <clears throat> I'm going to do another change. Who else can I change? Um, I know I owed you guys a baby video because I hadn't, I just, ha I haven't really been doing much of them. I've been so busy with, oh, I was so busy with, um, other things that I just haven't had time and things that have been going on in my life personally. 
but I decided I'm going to take some time for me and I'm going to do some enjoyable things. I'm going to, now that the weather's cooling down, I want to start getting out and doing some things outside. It's just been too hot to go out in the summer. It was 93 here today, but it will be cooling down soon and I really want to start going out and doing things that we normally would do outside. Um, we went down today for a little while by the river by there's a boat ramp down there so we just we parked where the trucks and trailers park and we took a little walk by the water which was nice and then we had to go to the store to get the dog cookies and then we came home oh actually we stopped at Dollar Tree too um, but I need to do more of that I need to get out more like I've literally been in the house other than going to the store to go food shopping for almost three years and that's sad because when we lived in Georgia quite frankly <laughs> I didn't want to go out in that neighborhood because it was a bad neighborhood I was literally like scared to go out I didn't even want to go to the dumpster to throw the garbage out which is really sad <clears throat> and then when we found this house we moved in here and well then winter came and we didn't I don't know we just didn't do a whole lot for the winter then spring came and summer came and now we're going into fall but I went into that little bout of depression and I just didn't want to do anything literally I mean I sat here in my room I was timing when it started happening it's been like three months so yeah but I, I need to I definitely need to get myself out and get myself involved in some things outdoors um, get my mind off of a lot that's been going on here you know just try to relax as best as I can and I will be doing some more videos like I said I want to start doing more toddler videos which is why I got what I what I got today uh, the toy that I bought um, I'm trying to I will show that to you in just a minute. But first, I want to change. Who am I going to change? Let me see. <clears throat> I think we're going to change Mariah. And we're going to move her out of the way. Okay. Mariah. <clears throat> did you guys see how I did her hair? I braided her hair. Um. Mariah is adorable. I absolutely love her. She is so cute. But yeah, I'm going to put her in a new outfit as well. Um, I love this color on her though with her skin tone. It looks really good. But I want to put her in something different. So that's what we're going to do. And did I? No, I did not put a white onesie on her. I don't have another white. I need to get some more white onesies. <laughs> I don't have a white onesie for her. Um, in Florida, I used to go shopping at the thrift stores all the time, and I used to go shopping at the consignment shops. Um, there was consignment shops for babies, and there was this one that was really nice. Um, the lady was really nice, too. Um, she used to do $5 fill-a-bag sales. And she had bins full of clothes and basically you would go and fill up a bag for five dollars and I used to do it all the time I have to make I have to move her I have to be careful of her barrettes but I used to do it all the time and 
I used to get so many things. Oh my gosh. I, I used to get, I have some really pretty dresses. I have like a lot of really cute outfits and some of the outfits that I got, I actually used for the babies that I sent home and her earring just came off. Okay. Anyways. Um, so I used to use a lot of the clothing for babies that I sent home when I painted them. Um, but I miss doing that. That used to be really fun. I used to do that all the time. And lately, I haven't really been doing a whole lot of anything. <laughs> so, all right. So Miss Mariah is going to be wearing leopard print pants. So this is actually an outfit that I forgot I had. <laughs> I was looking through the drawers trying to figure out what I was going to put on the babies and I came across this. Oops, a little high on you there, girl. And it has a little top that has a little heart on it. I think this was one of the things I got from that shop, actually. See, I have to be... I'm sorry. It's hard for me to dress her because of these barrettes. Um... When I did her hair, I did not take that into consideration <laughs> that dressing her and undressing her was going to be a pain because of all the barrettes. But it is. <laughs> it's, uh, it can tend to be quite a, quite a pain. Okay. <clears throat> so, I have not loosened up her limbs. Her limbs are still stiff from when I got her. Um, I have not weighted her. This is what I'm talking about. I did not, you know, I just, I haven't been doing much lately. I haven't even, I haven't weighted her. I haven't weighted my Paradise Galleries doll. Um, I did the other ones, but this, I did not do her or Paradise Galleries. I want to, I just haven't. I will. I will because I'm determined to get out of this funk that I've been in. I don't like when I get in these funks. I mean, I think everybody gets their their moments where, you know, you don't want to do anything. You just want to sit around and do nothing. And that's fine for a little while, but it's not healthy and it's not good to stay in it for too long, which is why... I am going to pull myself out of it and get back into reality <clears throat> because it's not healthy. It is not healthy at all. All right, so let me put her bib on her because there's a bib with this outfit. And then I'll let you see how it looks because she is. Okay, ready? Here she comes. There we go. That is her outfit. I think it looks really cute. It's more appropriate for fall weather. There's her little giraffe that she holds on to. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to change one more baby. And then I'm going to call it a night as far as the video goes because my bird is wanting to come out <laughs> and if I try to bring her out when the tripod is out she's gonna flip out and she won't she'll probably she won't know what it is her wings have grown in quite well and she can fly up to the ceiling now and there's a ceiling fan and I don't want her flying into the ceiling fan so as long as there's nothing that'll scare her, I take her out and I let her sit on her little stand and she'll stay out for a few hours and then she flies back to her cage when she's ready to go to bed. But anyways, all right, Mariah, we're going to put you over there. And the last one that we're going to change for the night is going to be my Paradise Galleries doll. Sweetie Pie. <clears throat> so we're going to change Sweetie. I forgot to put Mariah's earrings back on. 
Is it, how many people out there have this doll? Sweetie Pie. She's a cutie. She is a cutie. I really like her a lot. Um, I did not weigh her either because I just didn't want to take her apart. Paradise Gallery's doll sometimes can be really hard to take apart. And I decided that <laughs> I was just going to leave her the way she is. Um, her, I mean, she's a full limb doll and she has, she has very nice, her body is not bad. It's not like those cheap ones that they used to use. They actually improved the bodies, which you'll see when I change her. Um, so I decided to just leave her, leave her be. Okay. <clears throat> so little miss. Sweetie Pie, we're going to change you too into something different. I don't, I don't do the theme, the themes that everybody does, like, you know, theme Thursday, theme Friday, theme Saturday. I don't do that. I never have, um, just because, I don't know. I just don't like changing my dolls every day. I try not to change them that often because it's not great for the paint on the doll. So I'll change them, but I don't change them that often. And last time I changed these guys was, um, I'm trying to remember few weeks maybe I mean oh I didn't do it on camera but I still did change them um, I don't always change them on camera either I change them off camera a lot actually okay so she does have a white onesie on and the body that she came in I'll show you It's actually a dose like a dose suede body. It's a nice soft body. So, um, she and and full limbs. That's not something that's very common in these dolls. And I like full limb babies. They're a little stiff. They do move, but they are a little stiff. So, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about this before. Okay, so we're going to put this on her, on her little head, and her bangs got messed up. And that's the other thing. She has the rooted hair. I don't like, I don't like, I'm not a big fan of the wigs, and I'm not a big fan of, um, oh, did you hear that? That was her arm. And I'm not a big fan of, um, what am I, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh, the, uh applied hair I do not like applied hair at all on dolls um, I know that that something that they like to do but I don't like it all right I gotta move her I gotta get her arm up here this outfit is one that I did used to put on my silicone and I remember this was not fun especially when the silicone is sticky um, I'm having a hard time and she's not sticky. <laughs> okay. Come on. I don't like to put dark colors on my babies because, well, we all know what happens if you put dark colors on your babies. It can rub off and it can cause staining. So I try to not do that. I opt to not do that. Um, I am going to button this up just because I think it looks cute like that. Okay, now I gotta do up her snaps. Maybe. Where's the middle snap? Um, okay. I'm not gonna change all the babies or I'll be here all night. I do have 
a couple other ones that I want that I'm gonna going to change, but I'm not gonna do it on camera. I want to do this one, and then I'm gonna stop so that I can upload it. And <clears throat> I can let my bird out for a little while. But like I said, I thought I would get on here, do a couple changing videos, or do a couple changings on a video. Oh, I wanted to say, I had a person come on my one video talking about my my dolls from Amazon and AliExpress, and she was very negative. Actually, I did block her. Um, I do not tolerate people coming on my channel with negativity. I mean, if you can't be positive on someone else's channel and you have to talk negative, then you just don't need to be a part of that channel. And she was not subscribed to me and I was not subscribed to her. She just basically decided she was going to come on my channel and not be nice. So I, in turn, went and I blocked her and that was that because I don't like that. I don't think that's right. It's not nice of people to do that. So yeah, I blocked her and you know, plain and simple, if you don't like the dolls, then don't buy them. But if someone else chooses to buy these dolls, then that's their business. It's not anyone else's business to tell them what to do and what not to do. So, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> um, so there's Miss Sweetie Pie. And she is... She's a cutie. I love her smile. She's so cute. So we're going to move Miss Sweetie Pie so I can show you guys what I got for the toddlers. Oh, there it is. <clears throat> if you live by a Dollar Tree and you have toddler dolls, well, even if you don't live by a, by a Dollar Tree, but if you have toddler dolls that you like to do role play videos with, I would not advise this for a actual child. The, the pieces in here are way too small. They have ages three and up on this box. I would not give this to a three-year-old, and you'll see why. But just for playing with your dolls, it's really cute. It's like the perfect size for the dolls. It's, uh, it's a mini dollhouse. And it's called Fantasy Cottage. And you can see how small the house is. Well, the pieces are tiny. I haven't even opened it yet. So I will actually open it now. And we're gonna we're gonna look at the pieces, and you'll you, <laughs> you'll see what I mean when I say that they're small, um, very small. So let's see. Can we get this out of here? Maybe. <clears throat> okay. And what? I'm trying to figure out how they got that on there. Um, hmm, okay. Oh, I always love these boxes like this, where you can't open them. All right, I got one side down. Let's see if I can get the other. Oh, tomorrow! Tomorrow, I have a surprise. It should be here tomorrow. Either tomorrow it'll be here or the next day. It was originally supposed to be here Saturday. Um, then they said Friday, and then I got a message saying tomorrow. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. It's either it's either going to be it's going to be somewhere between tomorrow and Saturday. Um, I have a surprise coming. Um, it is not something that I paid for. It is. I really I have to unscrew this. Yep. It is something that I am doing a review on, and I think everyone will like it. And after I do the review, I'll give you guys the name of the company that it came from. And um, no, I did not pay for this. It is free. But I'm not going to let you know what it is until tomorrow or whenever it comes, and then I will do a video, and I will explain it to you guys. So, 
stay tuned if you want to be surprised. Surprises can be fun. Surprises can be good. Surprises, I love surprises. So definitely stay tuned if you want to see a surprise. Okay, let me see if I can get this thing off of here. I should have done this prior to doing this video. I didn't know that I had to actually unscrew the bottom to get it off of here. And I guess I was wrong. What a pain. I don't know why they screwed this thing in here. <laughs> they could have just like taped it in the box. So, okay. This is interesting. Along with the little pieces, they had to put little screws to hold it to the box. Right? Yeah. Okay. One more, and then we can take it off. <clears throat> My goodness. All right. It's almost done. There we go. All that work. Just, just for this little tiny thing. All right. So... The house itself has a handle and it does open up. I'm just trying to figure out how it opens up. Oh, okay. That's really cute. Okay, it folds down, if you can see that. Um, it has the front lawn. And then it has a swimming pool. I guess that's actually the back lawn. It has a swimming pool and two little lounge chairs. It's carpeted in there. The little doors in the front do open. See, they open and they close. I mean, it's so, it's so cute. It's really cute. Um, but the pieces, oh my gosh, the pieces are so tiny. I'm actually gonna have to put these in a bag or else they're gonna get lost or a little container of some sort. Um, <clears throat> they're so tiny. Okay, and the people are so tiny. Wow, I saw this and I'm like, it's only $5. <laughs> it's really cute and it'll be like perfect for role play with the dolls because They can't choke on it because they're not real. They're just dolls. Oh, okay, they put backing on the plastic. Boy, they really got these things packaged well. <clears throat> My goodness. But just to give you an example of the size, this is why I'm trying to get this open so that I can show you. 